All right, guys, you're not going to want to miss this. This is absolutely powerful. Okay? We're going to live stream this this weekend. Go to the website on your screen, wearethelastgeneration.com, and click on the backup channel. We're going to live stream from our backup channel for a while. You're not going to want to miss that channel. All right? This prophet right here is now saying, and we suspected as much, that... What if Sundar comes out and says one day, since he supports Donald Trump so much, and Donald Trump is pushing vaccines, I said, what are we going to do when prophets come along and, you know, tell us that the vaccine's good? And I said one day when we were going over this man's teachings, Sundar is his name, I said, uh, this guy's not right. He's calling Donald Trump a righteous servant of God, which is challenging our definition of what righteous servant of God is based on the scriptures and I said this is not right and then I said it wouldn't surprise me if this guy comes out one day and, and starts supporting vaccines this is just one of my questions and one of my suspicions and sure enough man this guy right here you can hear it from his own mouth we're gonna talk about it this Sunday and we're gonna go over all kinds of uh, deceptive ideas in the world and make sure you're aware of them but sure enough, he makes a video, we'll show you later, that he's like, he's not against vaccines. Of course he's not against vaccines. He supports 100% Donald Trump. And after all, Donald Trump is a righteous servant of God, and he's promoting and pushing vaccines. Donald Trump himself. So this prophet has got to go with that. He's going with the pushing of the vaccines. And um, so I'm just going to talk about that this week. And if you want to join us, please go to the website on your screen. We are the last generation. We are the last generation.com and click the backup channel, backup channel, and subscribe to my backup YouTube channel. Guys, I hope that this makes sense, okay? And uh, happy Thanksgiving, everybody out there. And uh, God bless you guys. We're running out of time. This may be our, our, our last uh, Thanksgiving uh, as a free nation, but uh, we're free in Christ anyway, so don't forget that. We don't want to get swept away with ideas that are not in the scriptures. See, my goal is to base everything in the Bible, the King James Version Bible. Every thought, every idea, every feeling, every experience. Let me tell you something. We were created by God to have experience in Him. And that experience is not just inside you, okay? There's a subjective external experience through the mind that we can see God and be with God and know God from what we see in nature, okay? That's what separates the Aristotles from the Thomas Aquinas, is that you can't answer everything through philosophy. You have to trust the theological doctrines of the scriptures, which is our King James Bible. That's where we get the truth. And so we've got to be able to think clearly and rationally and scripturally and know the Bible very, very well because we're going to get people that come along in this last generation. YouTube channels, prophets, people that just call themselves apostles and, and they're going to sound like they know what they're talking about. Just like I might sound like I know what I'm talking about. That's why you need to know the scriptures. That's why you need to know the scriptures. And then we need to exercise discernment. I like to exercise my discernment through philosophical means, uh, through logical, rational speculations and ideas and compare them to what 
these other men are saying and ask myself, can I dis differentiate between their language and the scripture's language or ideas that should be founded in the scriptures? I want to keep all my ideas, all my speculations, all my fantasies and all my dreams and all my visions and all my ideas, all my creative thoughts, all my creative thoughts to be grounded and rooted in the scriptures. And so when we practice this and it's a, a given gift of grace and revelation, a spirit of, it's a, it's a spirit that God can give us. We can see clearly. It's amazing. And, and we can see things that normal people can't see. And I'm not saying I'm special and better than anybody. I'm saying if we have God, true, true God in us, and we can see and learn from the scriptures, the way we look at the world is very, very uh, amazing and powerful because we can see through the intellectual lies. We can see through all the philosophical arguments and content of these great minds in the world. We can see through even false sciences, things that claim to be scientific. We can just, we can evaluate and judge and see clearly. We have good intuition and good perception by the grace of God. I'm not bragging on myself. There's a lot that I need to learn, but I'm saying we have an advantage. We, I'm not even talking about myself. I'm talking about those that follow this line of thinking and the spirit of God and trust the Bible, the King James Bible. We have a better chance. We have a better position. We have better resources. We have the most high God. He's revealing himself in many ways. He will reveal, allow to be revealed, uh, false deceiving spirits into the world. He'll allow that to come forth. And because people don't follow him, they get confused. They get, they follow um, things that look like him. I'm talking about God here. You, when you follow something that seems Christian or looks Christian, it may not be. When you follow ideas and words and, and teachings and lingo and language and plaque t-shirts and little slogans and creeds that uh, appear to be Christian, well, in the end, that spirit may not be because We've got to differentiate the, the difference between what is real, what is truthful, and what's a counterfeit, what's a fraud, what's a perpetrator. And so all we're doing on this channel is repenting from our sins, getting ready for the judgment, and preparing for the end times. If you want to join us, go to that website on your screen, click the backup channel, and come to my backup YouTube channel. On the weekends, we will be live streaming, and I hope to see you there. Don't be deceived. Peace.